Alright guys, hi, it's Skrithak, it's September 9, 2011, and you are in a game. Uh, this is a game between Wonderben and Burn Pyro. Burn Pyro playing his uh, Shattered Peaks full force. Wonderben playing Forglar Swamp and uh, Savage Tundra in a split currently. Uh, Arctic Gift is up, and of course Amplified Psychic. Um, Wonderben here at the bottom, uh, Captus Font already. We joined the game about one minute in, so no action missed yet. Uh, just some deploying. Uh, mid font still uncontested. First contesters moving in now uh, from uh, Burn Pyro. Burn Pyro at the top uh, with the blue pieces. Uh, his uh, full force shattered peaks already capped his top font and uh, put in his Voil King's Crypt. Uh, has his uh, Angel of Chaos out, a Spearman, uh, Spearman, and a uh, Bat Swarm. So we'll see how this goes. Um, I watched a Shinchin match a couple, I think it was last week. I believe it was last week. Uh, I'm, I kind of forgot what he was playing against, but Shinchin was definitely playing as well for Shattered Peaks in a similar fashion. Uh, and I believe it was uh, against Kthir Forest uh, in a split with uh, Savage Tundra. Uh, if I remember this correct, I, I didn't upload that game. Um, because uh, basically Shinshin thought he was playing terrible and I, I, I agree, you know, like sometimes when people don't want me to upload certain games uh, I, I completely agree, you know, with them and I don't, you know, I don't upload games that people don't want me to upload and usually usually they have a reason. A lot of better players in the limited league here have, have their reason for not wanting to and I, I completely concur with that. So, um, for Pyro uh, is 7 overall. Um, Ranked 7 overall, currently 6 in the limited league, uh, while Wonder Ben is 52 overall, uh, 51 in the limited league. So our uh, favorite player here is uh, is definitely Burn Pyro. Uh, doesn't always mean uh, he's the better player. It always depends on the daily form, of course. You know, not everybody can play the same every day, unless your name is uh, River Wrath, I guess, and your uh, your whole life um, revolves around perfection. <laughs> I don't. I don't know if that's really the case. I'm just making this up. So, don't don't take it as a rant or anything like that. Um, I, I don't play preferences at all, <laughs> at all. I just uh, I just thought it was funny. Anyway, uh, Ferk uh, censor it out here, um, taking the first beats uh, down to 44 HP. That's a modifier of um, negative 11 uh, for his max HP. Uh, more damage going down on him. Um, that's the double attack from the Hynid, uh end of turn, taking three more damage uh, due to the poison um, onto the shift to Wonder Ben's turn. Now, uh, the Neuromancer and the Ferg Sensor both have quite an amount of uh, AP, and uh, this Spearman uh, is going to get some damage, quite a bit of damage actually, from this Neuromancer. Uh, bring him down to 9 HP. Now this uh, Ferg Sensorid would definitely kill him um, if he moved up a bit into into range. Uh, we hear the Shrine Scry. As always, combat log is up for your uh, your personal interest. If I miss something, um, I'm still getting the hang of everything. I've not been doing this for too long, so free. Alright, there goes down the Spearman, uh, first kill of the game, and uh, the kill goes to Ferg Sensorit, which is likely to be killed next turn as he is at 28 HP. Oh, I uh, take that back. Um, Font of Restoration was played down and promptly applied to Ferg Sensorit. Ferg Sensorit now has a positive modifier of 10 uh, at 65 HP. Um, Very nice. So I'm uh, assuming there's going to be a contest on next turn. Uh, the shrine will not generate any Nora, although currently it is uh, in possession uh, of Wonderbin. Let's see how long Wonderbin can hold it on. Up to now, we've only seen. Um, uh, seen four of swamp champs. Alright, said uh, Font of Restoration is not going to restore a second time. 
because it does have uh, the ability to cool down and do that a second time if left around long enough. I'm not sure if that was necessary this turn uh, since it does have a cooldown of 5 I believe. Let me check that again. Oh, I can't I can't bring up the room. From combat log usually you can. All right, turn goes back to Wonder Ben. Uh, no damage uh, went down on Frick Sensorit. Uh, Frick Sensorit uh, still 62 HP. Um, that is quite a bit of HP uh, to to deal with. 55 two Neuromancers are out uh, currently. Uh, there is an Obelisk of Foresight and, of course, the Spirit Altar, um, both out. Uh, the Obelisk of Foresight still has some use before it, uh, before it annihilates itself, so to say. Um, it's meant to do that, uh, to generate uh, more runes. Ah, Gale Force. Gale Force played by Wonderband, uh, bringing in uh, that Angel of Chaos. Uh, Angel of Chaos, I'd be surprised if uh, she sees another turn. Uh, Neuromats are doing damage, and the uh, the Ferk Censored still has... Oh, there we go. Okay, that Angel of Chaos is gone. Her. So, uh, Gale Far springs her into range, and uh, that's one dead angel. Um, that uh, Nora Globe will be hanging out here for a bit, though. I don't think that... Uh... Well, I guess uh, Wonder Man could pick it up, but he's not going to. He'd rather use that AP to uh, get a hit onto the Bat Swarm. Uh, in this case, I, I definitely favor in this situation. Uh, I would favor Wonder Ben. Uh, he's managed to wiggle himself into good position. Um, got some uh, got some kills onto the enemy champs. But here comes uh, Voil Imperialist. Uh, here comes a uh, Lightning Elemental and a second Bat Swarm. And that mid Bat Swarm is still there, of course. Uh, still going to do some damage, uh, if not a lot, onto uh, one of those two Neuromancers. Uh, contest range, currently nothing contesting at all, um, which surprises me a bit. I I wonder if, yeah, well, Burpai will definitely notice. He's a good enough player to notice. He's not contesting yet, uh, so he might move uh, Lightning Elemental 1. Yeah, he's moving in. All right, so he's moving in. Um, trying to go for that first censored, I guess. Uh, end of turn. Uh, it's Wonder Ben's turn. Definitely that uh, that rank three electric Laura. Um, the six damage to everything in the area is pretty damn neat. So getting some damage onto the Neuromancer, getting some more damage onto the first sensor. Remember, first sensor it was on about 62 HP, down to 46 now, and. Uh, the Neuromancer, uh, 48, so 49 and 48 uh, HP Neuromancers, still quite a bit um, for the distance here. We got a Voil Lifestealer out. A lot of discussion going on on the forums lately um, about the Lifestealer. A lot of complaints. Uh, I don't, I don't give much merit to them. There's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of complaints in general <laughs> generated by this community about a lot of nonsensical things, but uh, then again, a lot of people take things much too seriously on the interwebs. Uh, let me just, just check the uh, area of two. Nope. Alright, there goes uh, Bat Swarm, and the second Bat Swarm is still, uh, still around. Uh, with an original health pool of 36, uh, loss of that becomes very inev inevitable usually, but the swarm mechanic does make it uh, a nice include in, in any kind of battle group. Uh, got a pacified lightning element here. Uh, so we'll see what that does. Burn Pyrus turn now. Uh, there is a Firk Mimic. Uh, that was played down in Shrine range. Imperial is still hanging out at the back, hasn't made uh, any kind of attempt to move move in. There we go, now it's moving in. 
Alright, so it's been hanging out there for two turns. Um, 